it's Harley Wood. So I'm sure like you, your carry system has probably evolved over the years. Mine certainly has. I began concealed carrying, uh, I believe in 2007, 2008, somewhere around there. And I've certainly uh, gone through the gamut of holsters as well as uh, pistol solutions. On the table, from left to right is representative of that uh, that process for me, of that evolution. I'm gonna go ahead and clear this off and go one by one and talk to you a little bit about why it made sense for me at the time and why I evolved to each subsequent one afterwards. My very first carry pistol when I got my first CCW license was a Kimber Eclipse Pro 2 in 45. This is the Commander uh, version and at the time I bought this, being my very first pistol, I not only wanted something that I would keep for the rest of my life, almost for that sentimental value, um, but I also wanted something that I would be very proud to show off. And, it, you know, there's different schools of thought on this, but to me, the 1911 is kind of a timeless work of art. The Kimber is obviously not the most expensive choice. These guns are unloaded. It's obviously not the most expensive choice. However, it's decently expensive and it's been very reliable there have been a few instances obviously you know 1911s can be a little finicky with ammo uh, but overall it served me very well i from the time i bought this that is the holster that i carried it in and the 1911 is the one of all these pistols i'm going to show you that i've carried the longest i probably carried this one for i want to say three and a half maybe four years and during that time i chose an alessi leather holster they are extremely comfortable. I've used leather holsters for a couple that I'm going to show you and have since evolved over into Kydex. And um, initially, I was totally on the boat that if it wasn't a 45, it wasn't worth talking about. That you shoot them once and you're done. And the 45 makes a bigger hole and all that stuff. All the stuff we uh, kind of buy into before we start to actually learn a little bit more about ballistics. Um, I carried the Black Talon. Still have it in um, all of my 45s, in fact. And, um, you know, luckily I've never had to use it. I almost had to pull this pistol one time. I did have to somewhat brandish it. I had a guy pull a knife on me. And uh, all I did was lifted my, my shirt up, put my hand on my on my pistol. He saw it and made a better decision. And and uh, he, he booked it. So anyway, carried the 1911 first. And let's show you next what I evolved over to. So if I were to go completely in chronological order, I don't actually still have the gun that I went to directly after the 1911. It was a Springfield XD. It was a full size. And um, I only had that for maybe six or eight months. And then I sold it and I moved to the XDM subcompact. So that is what I have on the table in front of you here. Again, also with an Alessi holster. That is the holster that... Um, that I've actually broken the clip on a few times. It's got one of these, you know, great leather, but kind of the weak spot is the plastic clip holster. I've broken it off a few times, sent it back. He's always been great to fix it. So this is chambered in 40. And as I moved down from the 45 and kind of came off that throne, I wasn't quite ready to bite the nine millimeter apple and um, moved to 40, ran with this for probably another two or three years. I carried the Winchester PDX-1. These are the bonded uh, the bonded bullets. And again, love shooting it at the range. You know, a lot of people say the 40 is too hot. I, I never really never really bought into that. Um, my, I will tell you, my wife didn't like it. She doesn't like shooting it. For, so for if you're a small frame female, you're probably gonna agree with that statement that it's too hot. All right, let's take a look at what we went to next. So about five or six years ago, maybe, my dad finally talked me into a Glock. Um, he is a retired police officer. He was for about 35 years in Southern California. Obviously loves Glocks, and he finally talked me into it. I jumped on the bandwagon, and as you're going to see with the rest of my carry solution, uh, 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 carry platforms, I've never gotten off the Glock bandwagon since. Never bought another pistol. Um, I, this is when I made the jump to Kydex holsters. I went. This one is a Zorn holster. I've reviewed this on the channel. I've had a couple of them for different firearms. This one has been obviously highly modified. It has a Jaeger Works custom slide. It has an S3F Solutions barrel, Agency Arms trigger, some custom stippling from Stip Grips. Uh, this was only done 
I don't know, I want to say six, seven months ago. And I only carried it for a couple months after that. Pretty much lives as a safe queen now, as well as a range gun. Again, used the Black Talon ammo. Not really for any reason other than I had a bunch of it. And uh, in fact, I had enough to load probably five or six magazines for the, for the Glock 19. So let's take a look at what we move to next. So a minute ago, I said I had never bought another pistol other than a Glock. Uh, not entirely true. Let me correct that. I've never carried uh, loyally another pistol other than a Glock. I do have a few XDSs. For a brief period, I had a Ruger SP-101 357 Magnum revolver. And I would carry that revolver maybe a couple days. The XPS was typically just what I would carry. It was so small I could carry it in the summer when I'm riding the motorcycle. Um, but I've never religiously carried those, so just wanted to correct that. The next gun that I moved to was back to 45 and was the Glock 30S. Again, this one has been slightly customized. This is the basket weave grip stippling texture from 5B Gunworks. Black Talon ammo, once again. And I have a lot of holsters and gear from G-Code. This is the Eclipse Incog. Uh, I, I have mixed reviews with it. This is probably the pistol that I've carried um, the second most of all the ones you've seen so far. And I like this holster. I, I, you know, I had some problems with it that, you know, you can go watch that review if you look on the channel. But uh, overall, it's been a great holster. And my latest purchase and current concealed carry is a custom Glock 43. Again, pistol is safe. This one has been highly customized by Jaeger Works. Custom Cerakote job, custom milling. I'm waiting on the Blacklist Industries barrel. Um, I actually just got notice that it's shipping today. So very excited about that. Again, the basket weave stippling job from 5B Gunworks. I do have um, a trigger that I'll be purchasing soon for this, and then this one will probably be considered done. Oh, and, and night sights. So again, I moved back down to 9mm, and here are the black talons that I currently carry in it. I have gone to a tuck-tight appendix rig system for this. I briefly carried the Glock 30S appendix style in that incog holster. It's perfectly comfortable. When the Glock 43 came out, I was very skeptical about it at first. There's a lot of guys who say you might as well just get the 26, you get greater round count, you know, yada, yada. Um, but I think aesthetically, it's a, it's a pretty cool ass little gun. It fires very, very well. Um, I have not shot this one yet. I'm waiting on that barrel. I have shot my dad's and this, these guns are, they're fantastic. So I went ahead and got one, customized it. I've got a whole series on the customization of this if you go to the channel and dig a little deeper, but this is what I'm carrying now. And like I said, all the pistols that you've seen before this, I have carried at about the four o'clock position. This is the first time, other than the 30S a few times, that I've religiously carried in the appendix position. And this tuck tight holster is fantastic for that. So um, this is also probably the first time that I have religiously carried an extra magazine. This tuck tight holster makes it very easy to do that. I, if you've watched the channel, I've done a few videos on all of the different magazine um, holster that I have gone through over the years. I mean, probably 12 or 15 of them. And I always find something I don't like about them. There are a few that I, that I continue to use for some of the other pistols that I've already showed you, but I, I got to admit, I'm not very, um, I'm not very faithful to carrying an extra magazine with this. It's obviously part of the magazine. And so I do it every single time. All right, guys. So that's it. That's the evolution of my lifetime of carry. Again, it hasn't been extensive, eight, nine years, somewhere around there, from 45 to 40 to nine millimeter, back to 45, back to nine millimeter. Um, my question to you guys is, let me know in the comments below, how has your, uh, your EDC or your concealed carry, how has it evolved over the years? Did you originally carry outside the waistband? Did you originally carry inside the waistband and then move to outside the waistband? Um, what calibers, pistols, you know, brag a little bit. Tell me, tell me how yours has evolved. All right, guys, I thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, hit that subscribe button below. Lots more videos to come. We'll see you on the next one.